plugins and we're gonna get the plugins for UML diagram. So we go to file and settings and we have plugins. So let's search let's just type UML. They should have many of those. So one is a UML support. Or you can just install the plugins and search for that. So we're going to get the simple UML from this link. You can pretty much just Google for IntelliJ UML plugin. And let's visit their website. And it should sh pretty much just introduce you to how it works. Now I'm going to download first. So it's providing the support for class, dependency packages, and sequence diagrams. So we have it here. So let's install. Uh, we gonna have to go to downloads, right? See users. This is the one. So we just install that. Mm. Right there, simple UML. Let's restart. So after we install the plugins, we restart IntelliJ, right? So what we gotta do we have to go to file new and diagram you see that after you start up plugins so we gonna get the java class diagram right you just pick where you want to create that file okay so <coughs> it's gonna be uml type Alright, so find the location to put your UML file. Let me just uh, create a new folder named UML. And then we gonna put this. We can just name it something that we plan to do like for this whole application. Maybe my end. App. UML. So UML pretty much just explain the whole picture or the diagram of your other classes. Now this is a file, right, of your project. So this is going to be an example project. We create one package named edu nvcc and csc200 and the second one named csc201 and we're going to see relationships that all create a diagram so when you drag and drop it's going to show the relationship that person is the parent and student is extent from person Intelligence comes up here, right? But it's shown on the diagram. Now, when you right click and show categories, so it's going to show you all the fields of that person first name, last name. You can also show the methods, which that is very common for UML diagram to have, right? All the methods for that. Which this simple UML, UML diagram make it easy to just collapse them in case of 
you just want to see just relationship between classes then it's not too big otherwise it's going to be too large right with other fields and methods to display and you may start to drag and drop and see relationship of the admin which is the main method or driver let's start to instantiate object from person and you can drag and drop all the classes and it will show all the relationship and we can use this like to recreate the structure right so we can see this create a person if you look back in the code there you go create person so that's why in the UML just showing that administrator create person right student extends from person if you go there student extends from person you need to like go into the code and read line by line like college pretty much as <coughs> create person create student so when you go back you see that college create person student so it's just explain everything in one page and we understand everything all the meta attributes and relationship among classes so that's the benefit of your node diagram and they also tell the types right and this is how we use simple uml diagram to generate uml with intellij idea